Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back. Finally. Listen, I finally finished a progression in two months. You know, I, I took a two-month break without posting any progressions, and I finally finished a progression, okay? Like I said, 30 days, 30 progressions. I'm actually sticking to this. Now, I may miss some days, but listen, I'm doing my best not to miss any days, okay? Now, uh, welcome back to the finale of the dev spec progression. We have my custom weapon that me and Valgus won from Lightborn Tournament. As you guys obviously know, since you're like watching this progression. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit happy because listen, we have a ton of stuff for us to do today. Um, we, we need to go down to layer 2 to get Dawnwalker. After that, we need to get to level 20, which is 5 levels away, which is going to be a pain since um, I'm not really Voidwalker. And it's been like so long since I ever did like a Voidwalker progression. So let me get out of Hive and let me start going to the Hive. But guys, it's been so long since I ever did like a non-Voidwalker progression. So this is actually such a nice change of pace. It used to take me like 10 to like 11 hours to get one progression video out. And that, that was just like, just from purely recording. Because as I said before, it, it it's like um so much server hopping for good bounties. And like, bro, it, it sucks. It sucks server hopping for good bounties because like, Nobody wants to watch a 1v1. They want to watch 3v1s, 4v1s, and I need to find that. And it, it's actually, listen, when you're trying to look for like a 3v1 or 4v1, it's a lot harder than you think to find one. So that's why it's so hard. Um, I'm probably going to go to Lower Resia so I can actually get to Whirlpool because I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, from here, I honestly have no clue where a Whirlpool is. Like, I'm not really like that much of like a hive nerd where like i know where like all the whirlpools are at hive so i'm just gonna go to lower resia through the little like fountain thing and i'm gonna just go to the one the whirlpool that i usually go to which is by like the highway so let's do that uh, i'm gonna just do all the layer two at level 15 because i feel like i'm ready for it we have our weapon we have 70, 70, 77 agility let me see if i can actually train that right now no i've hit a wall in my training maybe there's some way to break it Okay, well, okay, so I need to uncap a Jody too. So, I'm actually surprised I don't already have it uncapped because I thought there was, like, an update that if you uncapped it in the past, um, then you would automatically uncap it. So, I guess before I go down to Layer 2, I'm going to uncap my Jody just so I can, like, level up in Layer 2 itself. And then, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what bell I want. I think I'm going to get either Reaper or Gravity Field. Gravity Field would look amazing with this build because, like, bro, we have the Purple Halo. We got the purple weapons, and then we got Gravity Field, a purple bell, and, um, bro, is it me? Or, why have I been playing Deep Booking for two years, and I've never gotten, I, 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 I've, I've only gotten a legendary bell once, and that was Teleportation Bell. And that's, like, what started my entire YouTube channel, because, like, I only, oh, I got a friend request. Jinx Abyss. Alright, but let me go through here. But, anyways, I only, um, blew up on YouTube because I had Teleportation Bell. And at the time, no one had it. There was maybe like five to six teleportation bell users. And what I would do is I like teleport Duke to a guild called Unnamed. So if you guys remember that, let me know. Because, bro, if you guys remember that, like if you remember this, you watching and you remember that, damn, you, you've you been watching me for quite a while. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, I think the one to Lorisia. So this is back hive. This is Summer Isles. I think this is Lower Resia. So let me see if I'm right. Oh, okay. I was right. So um, before I go through the Whirlpool, let me just drop all the way down. I'm going to break a couple of my legs. Oh my God. Bro, the bloodstains are instant right now. Like, is it me? Or they never used to be like instant. They used to like just appear over time when you got low. But right now they're like actually instant. Let me go heal first because um, I'm a little bit low as you guys can see. I have... 14 uses on my flint left. I don't have any campfire, so let me just um, cut down this tree. Bro, the best echo they ever added was definitely the echo where you start off with all the starting items. And at first, I thought that was like a waste of echoes because like, bro, are you really that lazy where like you won't get the stuff prior? But then I realized, yo, this is the best echo ever. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to um get all this stuff. It's, it's amazing for me who like progresses daily or used to progress daily but you know um i'm so happy to finish this build uh this can be my first completed progression in a while so guys if you're still watching i appreciate i appreciate you watching all of it you know what i mean but 
Uh, let me heal up the fool. Let me go to Etrus. And then I need to uncap my Jody. Um, so, yeah. Let's go do that. I'm probably going to need to go find someone to actually like help me um, wall stack to get up there. Because for some reason, the Jody guy, like you actually just can't get to him without someone boosting you. Which is weird. You know what I mean? Like, bro, let, let there be at least like some kind of parkour to get to there, right? But it's okay. Let's just start going. Yeah, I don't know why I'm like so energized right now. It might be the Adderall I took. I'm kidding. I don't take Adderall. I think. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just in a happy mood. I don't know why. Mm, yeah, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, let's just go to Etrus real quick. And finding someone to help me is going to be such a pain. Because, bro, there's always a, there's always someone at Etrus until there's someone not at Etrus. You guys know what I mean? Like, it, it's basically like trying to get um void walker bounties like there are like three to four people like there's always there's always people but like when you try and find them oh suddenly they disappear like your father like hello bro said he's gonna go grab milk and bro never came back so it's like what's up with that all right uh let's just start heading on over right now okay uh we're here there's a brain sucker uh chasing me let me just kill it real quick let me see how much hits it actually takes so i know how like how much hits it's gonna take for me to kill ethron because like brain sucker is like the weakest mob in the game so Okay, Ethra's gonna take me a while. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but um, I'm probably buy like the little boost. Oh, we found someone! Yo, 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 yo! Wake up! If I hit him, bro will wake up definitely. Okay, bro did not wake up. Hello? Yo, please wake up. Okay, bro, bro is not waking up. Um, surely he has to like come back to the game late. Oh, there he is! There he is! He's woke up. Yo, can you help help me real quick? Come. All right. Bro said, uh, what's up? Alright, so we found someone. Thankfully, I didn't have to, like, server hop for, like, 20 minutes straight to actually find someone to help me, like, stack up here. But, as you guys know, the Jody Trainer is all the way up there. And to actually get there, like, by yourself, it's impossible. Unless you have, like, Shadow Teleport or Ice Gates. Um, to actually get there, you need, like, someone to help you, uh, stack like this. So, if he just, yep, there we go. And then we have to just keep going up. Like, bro, why can't they just make it to where this is, like, possible solo? You know what I mean? Like... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, let, let, let them cook, there we go, okay, uh, let's just keep going up, but, bro, ah, bro, they need to make, like, parkour, for, <gasps> I fell, I just fell, oops, where'd he go, oh, he's right here, bro, they need to make, like, parkour to actually get up here solo, so badly, because, like, I hate, I hate relying on someone else to, like, get here, oh, okay, R let's try that again, but, um, this one's definitely a tough one because, like, there's no corner, but we made it. And let's just keep going up. W person, by the way. Bro, no questions asked. Bro was just helping. Okay, this one's going to be tough because, like, there's no corner. And this is, like, the last one, so. Oh, wait. We made it. Hold on. Let me just talk to this guy, uncap, and then I'm going to thank him. So, is there anything to teach me? A Jody unbounded. There we go. Let me go talk to him and be like, wait. Wait. There is parkour. Wait. Since when? When did they add trees? When did they add parkour trees? Wait, what? When did they add parkour? He said, no problem, I guess. Bro, when did they add parkour trees? It, has this always been here? No, 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 it definitely has not. But like, does this go all the way down? Let me let me actually check. So there's a tree here. Where's the next tree? Because like, hello? I think they only added it for like these two parts. That's so weird. Why would they add it for like only these two parts, but not, but not like down there because like down there you need it the most like oh wait no there's a there's a tree over there but wait how are you supposed to make that jump from there to here okay someone in the comments actually tell me because i'm actually like super confused to be honest but i did not know they added this to be honest i was actually just rambling but um now that we have our un a jody uncapped let's see how much uh ankle weights i have or like a jody i have okay only three and then I think the next thing I'm going to train is, um, I don't know. I'm probably going to get like my light weapon up to 100, to be honest, after Jody. So let's just keep on going. Let's just go through the whirlpool. And then what I'm going to do is since your uh, weapon gets uncapped when you kill a boss, I'm going to get a 75 light weapon so it gets automatically uncapped when I kill a uh, chaser. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let me just go to the whirlpool real quick. This dude stopped his ship when he saw me. Like... <laughs> Oh, okay, bro. Bro's chasing me now. Well, I'm going with, I'm going through the roll pool, so, like, bro's going to be disappointed. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, listen. How have you guys been? Let me know. Because 
I'm actually curious. Let me turn up my graphics because it's super like dark to see. I can't really see anything. I always just want to make sure I'm going through the roll pool, to be honest. So uh, the roll pool is going to be on the right. So we're almost there. But bro, look how cool like the, the trail effect of the weapon is. Like it's like astral enchant. It looks so sick. Like look, look at this. I don't know. I'm geeking out about the weapon. Let me turn down my graphics since we're here. And uh, hold on, my boat, my boat, my boat. Okay, there we go. And let's go inside the whirlpool. All right, we're here. We spawned with someone. Uh, we're in a Texas server. The ping's actually terrible, to be honest. But uh, let's go to Castle Light. Um, now that I think about it, I should have brought food with me. I have one calabash to my name. Let me actually go back to that guy and ask him for food because I'm definitely not going to be able to beat Chaser and Etheron on quite literally an empty stomach. So let me go back to the guy real quick bro he's not there no more he logged all right whatever um let me try to go find someone else that will give me food and there's a thresher here so let me just kill it for exp real quick and get my uh weapon to 75 so when i kill chaser i can uncap oh now there's two chaser uh two two threshers okay let me just kill one of them real quick okay that's one now just him all right and that chaser is just free XP, so let me just kill this too. Bro, wh why do I keep calling them chasers? I, I mean threshers, like, why is chaser on my mind? Uh, let me just kill this thresher real quick. Guys, give me one second. Well, it's gonna be literally one second for you guys, because I'm gonna cut it, but you know. Bro, the server just became so laggy, I'm actually forwarding. Oh, now the lionfish is on me, on top of the corrupted thresher. So, bro, please die fast. Okay, there we go. What's inside this chest? Okay, it's all tr Oh my god, eight I mean, actually, that's pretty bad for star boots. Um... Let me just kill the lionfish too. Wait, how is bro already posture broken? What? He just spawned in. All right, and that's him dead. Uh, let me, where's my weapon manual? There we go. All right, so we have 75 now. So when we kill Chaser, it'll be un uncapped. And now let me just also do my ankle weights. I've learned when I can from training right now. I should put it into practice. Uh, okay. Okay. So since I have one cow to my name, let me just go find someone real quick and basically beg them for food. So yeah, let's do that. Wait, mm, bro, some guy sent me a friend request in the server. What if I like accept the friend request and then in Roblox party chat, I, 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 I ask him if uh, to meet me up and give me food. W would that be smart? Oh, no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that after I kill these angels. Hold on. It's like ordering like DoorDash on deep booking, bro. Like actually. Okay, the angels are dead. Let me grip them real quick and then I'm going to accept his friend request. Is he still in the server? Oh, he is. Hold on. All right. All right, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to send him a friend quest. Okay, new friend, Barto Naruto 4. Now, okay, we refresh this. Okay, we, we search up Bardo. I think this is him. Yo, do you have food? Okay, in deep booking, like right now. Okay, okay, we're, we're going to see if he responds. Okay, so we have the DoorDash order um on uh, pending right now. So let's see. But like, who checks the Roblox chat? Bro, if this works, it's actually like the biggest brain thing ever. All right, but we're at the other side. There's definitely people at Castle Light, so let me start going there too. And, you know, just beg for food, any food, because I came uh, unprepared. Wait, I heard a jellyfish go off. Okay, hold on. Yo, yo, if this is him, I think. Never mind, no, it's not. Do you have food, please? Yeah. Yo, do you have food? Oh my God, two people. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. Bro, he gave me that to Philos, but like barely gives anything. How can we make stew in depths? Okay, here. He said, wait, he said he can cook it for me. Okay, here, I, I'm, I'm gonna give him the dent I'm gonna give him the brown caps too. And let's see if he can cook. There, cores. Okay, he said, hey, he said he could turn water into wine. So let's see if he actually can, because I, I never, thought you could like make stew in the depths so maybe you can as a deep bound we'll see and i'm like constantly checking on like the other guy to see if he responds uh bro has not responded yet but you know uh you know we'll, we'll see if barto naruto 4 clutches up or not bro i'm so scared of those boulders that like fall from the sky because like bro I, I i'm pretty sure if they fall on you you just get instantly wiped so yeah i need to be careful with that whenever i hear it all right let's see this guy turn water into wine uh, where did he go? How did I just lose him? What? How did I just lose? Oh, there he is. Oh, <gasps> he turned water into wine. No way. I don't have anything else to give him, but like, thank you. Can I have the Dentafilos back? I need, I need him. 
<laughs> I, I need it, please. Thank you. All right, guys. I think I think we're actually good to go. We have one calabash, three mushroom soup. Let me actually drink the mushroom soup right now. All right. Good luck. Layer two, but solo. Good luck. All right. So we're full on hunger. We have one calabash, one mushroom soup, and 14 dentophilos to my name. So we should be chilling on food now. So um, even though the guy did not respond, it's okay. Okay. Let's go down since we're level 15. We're going to do Etheron. And we're gonna get Dawnwalker. That's the ultimate goal. So, all right, we're in layer two. Let me go get the key real quick. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna be always FK. I'm gonna speed run this because we have 20 minutes on light hook, and uh, it's been two months since I did Chaser and Etheron. So, you know, obviously there might be some issues. But oh my god, this server is goaded. I'm getting, I'm getting 40 ping in this server. Yo, why can't I get this? It's in, in, like the actual deep pocket servers. I, I love this. All right, we got the key. Uh, this guy is a crackhead, like, literally, so, uh, let's go past him, and let's just go to the door. And, uh, these weapons can't be enchanted, so I'm not even gonna do, like, um, all the stuff to actually enchant my weapon, so. I just want Dawnwalker, and that's it. Like, I'm actually gonna look so drippy after this. My blue eyes are gonna turn white. Everything about me is gonna be white, and, bro, it's gonna be, look, it's gonna look so nice. Alright, let's just keep going. Alright, let's make this jump. Ah, no! Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Let's just keep going. It's been two months, so <laughs> it's been a while. Lock in. Okay, I'm not even gonna go like and do the lantern thing to get rid of parasites. I think I can beat Bone Keeper um, before the par parasites eat me alive. But um, bro, I saw in an update that they actually removed the healing that Bone Keeper has. Like before, you know, like King Jellyfish and Bone Keepers, they like uh, passively regen health. So it, it would be impossible as a level one to kill a giant jellyfish and a bone keeper. But now they removed the healing on the bone keeper, so it's actually possible. But uh, okay, bro spawned on the other side, so let's just go to him and let's just kill him real quick. Ah, okay, whatever. Okay, bro, I'm dodging, but he still hits me. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in five minutes after like a hundred swings towards this guy. Bro, the parasites. Bro, I'm taking so long on this fight, but it's not even my fault. Like, just... Bro, it's not my fault. It's just... It's light weapons, bro. I, I just heard the parasite squ squeamish. Please. I just want this guy to die soon. Please. I'm not trying to die because of parasites. Oh, okay. He's posture broken. That's good. I, I would have actually just got hit there, to be honest. Bro, this bone keeper fight has unironically taken three minutes. And it's not... It's not even like I do no damage. Like, after this... After I kill bone keeper, I'll actually show you guys, like, how much damage this weapon does. I, I just fell! Oh my god! Oh, how did that do two bars? Okay, hold on. We're chilling. Actually, we're not really chilling. Like, I'm bad by I'm bad died to parasites. Oh, I'm gonna use reinforce. Oh, he's dead. All right, let me go. Let me use a uh, dash and shoulder bash. Power up the generator and uh, get out of here as quick as possible. But let me show you guys. Oh my god! No, the parasites. No. Okay, we got the generator up. Um. Okay, let me get to lantern first, and then I'm gonna show you guys. Uh. How much damage my weapon weapon does? Actually, I can just do it now. So, it does 21.3 plus 6.4. So that's like 28 damage for a light weapon, by the way. So that's kind of crazy. 28 damage for a light weapon is crazy, and that's only at 75 light weapon. Um, now I don't know why it does so little damage to mobs. I it might be bugged, to be honest with you guys. I just died to parasites. I'm gonna. <laughs> what the? All right, guys, I'm gonna cut. Until I, uh, until I get exactly where I was. Damn, there's a dead body here with so much stuff. But, uh, all right, let me just go back to where I was, bro. I can't believe I just died to parasites. I actually just flopped over like a fish. All right, guys, this time, before going to Bone Keeper, let me actually give her my parasites first. Because, um, bro, like, for some reason, this weapon does, like, no damage to mobs. But it, it does very high damage to players. So let me just get rid of my parasites real quick. Like, it does 30 damage, but it does 30 damage to mobs. Like, Bro, there's obviously something bugged. All right, I got rid of my parasites. Let me just cut to when I uh, turn on the power generator again. And back to where I was before. Okay, guys. Um, I'm back. I killed Bone Keeper. I did the power generator. Uh, now, I have two minutes on... I have, okay, I have one minute on the light hook. Okay, so I, if I die, I die, basically. But I already went through like kind of the hardest part. I, I would have liked to have the light hook still for Chaser, but it's okay. I, I doubt I'm going to die the chaser. Uh, if I do, then damn. You know what I mean? Nothing you can really do about that. 
But um, you know, I, I would still have like decent time on Layhook if I not if I didn't die. But oh well. Um, let's just keep going through the cave, and uh, you know, let's just go with the chaser guys. I do need to get the little spear thing so I can open the door. So let me just do that real quick. I still can't believe I died like that. I, I really just died to the parasites because my, my <laughs> because I took too long on Bone Keeper. But it, it's not even my fault. Like I, I went as fast as possible. Maybe I should just went back to the lantern when I killed Bone Keeper. Right? That would have been like a smarter option. But like. I didn't expect to actually die to the parasites. I I haven't died to like the parasites in so long. So it's like, you know, it's like, damn, I really just died to the parasites. But all right, that's the that's the spears. Let me just go to like the the Kreis guy, the Chrysillian, or how, how do you say it? The Chrysillian? Cry Crivillian? Guys, I'm really bad with pronunciation. So um, let me just go open up the door. I'm not going to do the risky path to, um, what's it called? To Chaser? Because, like, the path with, like, the really laggy parkour, I'm just gonna do, like, the secret path that no one really, like... Bro, for some reason, not a lot of people know about this, but, like, it's been known for quite a while. People just forget about it, to be honest. And I just got punted. Okay, get away from me, please. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do, like, a little that path. Because that path is a lot safer <laughs> than the path that people usually go, so... Alright, that's my light hook gone. Your connection is severed. So, uh, it's do or die right now, so... And I still have like an invisible timer too, which is my hunger and thirst because I do have, um, bro, I have one calabash and one mushroom soup to my name. So, and I need to do Ethron and Chaser. So this is going to be a long journey, but yeah. All right. Let's just go speak to the guy to open up the gates. Hey man, open it up for me. All right. We got Ethron's gates. Also, the gates are open. So let me go to the little like secret, secret path. It's, bro, it's not even secret. It's just people don't know about it. People just forget. I'm not even going to lie. It's not, it's not the path that people usually take. And let me kill these guys for health pack. Bro, I had such a good server in the old server. And now I'm stuck with 80 ping. Which 80 ping isn't really that bad. But like, I had 40 ping before. Like, that's that's half a difference. So, whatever. I'm still a little bit mad I died to parasites. But what can you do? And these guys are just taking it. Like, they're actually just not fighting back. Like, look at them, bro. But they're so tanky for so, some reason. Alright, that's them dead. Pl Gurk, please. Let's see what's inside the chest. These chests are usually cracked. Except for this one. This one sucked. Alright, let's go down here. And then we're going to take this path. And this floor should open up right now. Okay, right now. Bro, please open up. Okay, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to go this way. Bone keeper behind me. And he missed. Wait, I'm, un I'm unironically lost. Wait, where am I? Wait, I'm actually lost. I think this is the way. I think. Is it? Maybe. We'll see. No, this was... This was not the way. I'm lost. I, I, oh no, no, it's right here. Okay, we're chilling. All right, so yeah, this is the room. Uh, these things like start like cl cl clawing in on you. The code is four, three, one, two. So here, you just hit this two times. You hit this three times and this four times. And then uh, the code's on the, on like the little like open thing up there. But yeah, I just remember it by four, three, one, two. So, all right, uh, let's just go with the chaser now. Okay, the only risky part about this is like um, the little jump here, but there we go. Now it's just a safe path to Chaser. But uh, yeah, most people don't know about this path for some for some reason. But now you do, guys do. So, all right, let's go up here. I think it's up here, or I might have had to keep going through that door, but I don't really care. So let's just keep going up. Oh no, I went the right way because you have to go up here, and then this floor is gonna fall on you. Um, and then. Okay, this part sucks because like the bone keeper right there can actually break these floors. Look, he's about to fall. He's about to fall right now. Oh, okay, well, he just broke the path and he didn't fall. So let me go hide inside here and hope uh, bro does not touch me while I wait for like the paths to respawn, bro. Look at him. He's too fat to act. Oh, he just fell. Lol. Bye-bye, uh, bone keeper. Okay, let me wait for this stuff to respawn. Actually, I can just do this. I can just uh wait. <gasps> oh, oh my. I'm so scared right now. Ah, no, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm geeking out, bro. Let's see what's inside the chest. Okay, this was trash. All right, let's 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 do Chaser, guys. All right, hello, Mr. Chaser. I'm here. All right, let's speak to him and let's kill him before my food and hunger runs out. So, it's been two months since I last fought Chaser. So, uh, let's do this. All right, that's his blood jars gone. Okay, any moment now, please. All right, and he fell down. Guys... This is going to take it's such a while, so I'm going to just cut to like when important stuff happens. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'll see you guys then. Let me actually time this. So I started this at like 17 minutes. So let's see how long it takes for me to kill Chaser. 
so I know how long it's gonna take for me to kill Ethron. Guys, I didn't know this, but like the critical can actually like break the jars. Like I, d I just used the critical to break the final blood jar. Now he's like all out of blood jars, so uh, he's still not in second phase because the roof hasn't broken. But like, I, I really just did this and it broke the jar. I don't actually like have to do all that to get up there. So that's really nice about the weapon, to be honest. Uh, I'll let you guys know when he's in second phase because it's been uh been like five minutes of me fighting Chaser. So, oh yeah, bro is angry. Okay. Bro, it's been like eight minutes. The, the the roof is still not even like uh fallen. Also, I just realized something. I could probably just level up. I'm not even gonna lie. And then I get my food back when I level up. So, let me just train my Jody real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm about to level up. And I just got all my food back. Let me pick my talent. So let's see what I get. All right, I'm gonna get cheap shot. There we go. What else do I get? Uh, hold on, let me uh, whack Chaser real quick. Oh, I got Speed Demon. But that doesn't really matter because like my weapon already does blood damage. So Speed Demon is actually useless. So I'm just going to burn it to be honest with you guys. So let me burn Speed Demon. I'm going to get um, Lethal Precision for now. And we got our uh, Hunger and Thirst back. So that's really good. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the, the extra level helps us beat this guy faster. Oh my god, finally the roof. Oh my god. Oh my god. It only took eight minutes. I'm so happy. Bro, this fight lasted so long that all the pillars from like uh, the floor up above disappeared. So now it's just actually just the chaser room. Like, look at this. Look, look how clean this room looks. Like, bro, this fight took so long and it's still going. By the way, like, don't don't even forget that. Like, it's it's still ongoing. But if we look at the server age. 31 minutes. We started this at like 16 minutes. So let me tell you guys the story about this weapon. So when the when me and Valkus first got this weapon. There was a bug with this weapon where it had base scaling and no matter what you did um like you couldn't increase it right so even if you had like 100 light weapon and 100 uh, intelligence it would still do like 11 damage right so um archmage finally fixed it but i think he only fixed it for players so for mobs i i'm not gonna lie to you guys bro this does not feel like 30 damage against mobs i think I think, I think this unironically still has base scaling against um, bosses and mobs. But for players, it definitely does have the 30 damage. Because I tested on a freshie. And it was doing like 40% um, to a freshie. Which is insane, by the way. Because freshies have like 100 HP. So, so yeah. With that information in mind, uh, Etheron might be a little bit tough. A little bit. You know, a tiny little. Oh, oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's dead. I'm so happy. 33 minute server age we started at like 16 minutes oh my god i'm so happy right now oh my god i'm about to cry oh don't touch me all right let's see what we get guys in the chest this better be uh uh 20 minutes worth of loot come on bro floor one cleared 32 minutes like oh umbro knight enchant stone iron singer plate with 20 hp uh this is all trash i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but i'm gonna take the umbro knight enchant stone Okay, let's go down, guys. Uh, we still need uh, Dawnwalker, so. Okay, we're down in floor two. Our hunger and, th and thirst is doing amazing. We just need 60 medallions. Or actually, no, we just need 45 medallions because um, I just want Radiant Kick. And you get that at um, 45, so we don't even need 60 medallions. Let me turn all my graphics all the way up to see if there's a chest over there. Uh, there's not, so uh, let's just go down. And uh, guys, we're in floor two. Yippee! Okay, let's go. Bro, this this enchant stone looks so drippy. I'm not even gonna lie. It's like so purplish, and purple is my second favorite color. Okay, I'll let you guys guess what my first favorite color is. Maybe there's someone there out there that knows. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> Bro, how did I get the auxiliary unit caught on me? Like I I I I didn't even get in the like the, the glowing area. So like, bro. How? I, I didn't even go in the area, bro. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, since I have it on now, I don't really care if I go in, like, any more. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Ow. Oh, this hurts. This actually hurts a lot. And this is a Texas server. 80 ping. Not even that bad, to be honest. But, yeah. All right. Let's just go to Etheron. All right. We're at the maze. Uh, let me look up the code to the maze. I have, like, so I have it stored in my guild server. So let me go to my guild server real quick and get the code to the maze. Because, um, yeah, I ain't trying to figure it out from memory to be honest so all right i have it. it's one two one 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 blah 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 so let me just put it in real quick all right and there we go i'm not even gonna bother talking to this guy because 
Actually, no, I should, because I do want monster mantras later on, so... I work for no one! Real funny, man. And then, what's your name? I am a real... What'd it say? Wait! I'm so stupid, I didn't light the lantern at the beginning. It's okay, I can I can do it later. I, I, I actually just completely forgot about the lantern at the beginning, but... Um, I can do it later, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, let me see how much agility I can get, because I want 100 agility, by the way. Bro, there's no way I only got 1 EXP from Chaser, right? Like, there, there's there's actually no way. The Chaser just gave me 1 EXP only. Alright, whatever. Alright, let me go up here to get the lantern, and also see if there's any uh, medallion chests here as well. Oh, there's one right here, so let me get this real quick. Only 5? Come on, bro, don't be stingy with me. Alright, let's go through this portal. Alright, this is the second lantern. We still have to go back for the other one, because I completely forgot, but I'm going to do the sewer one first as well. Alright, let's go down here. Um, I'm guessing it's going to take me like 40 minutes to like beat Ethron, to be honest with you guys. So, that's my guess. So, I, we're, we're going to see if it's actually true or not. And, oh, there's a chest here too. Yippee! Okay, let's get it. Oh, eight! Oh! Oh, you don't have to spoil me like that. <laughs> uh, Archmage. You know, very nice of you. Alright, third lantern. Two more to go. Would have been four, but, uh, you know, we know how that went. Okay, dodge and weave. Go inside the vent. Alright, let me just go up here real quick to actually light the lan- Wait, I'm a- Bro, the lantern is lit. I- I just- Yo, I did not light that lantern, okay? Like, I definitely did not light that. That was definitely someone else, because I know for a fact I did not light that lantern, so... I'm just letting you guys know. Alright, let's light this lantern and get away from all these guys. And now that's the gate open. So, uh, let me just collect all the medallions. I'll let you guys know how much I get. And then, uh, yeah, we should be chilling to fight Etheron, so let's do that real quick. Oh my god, hold on. BRB for like, uh, five minutes. Hopefully, some, like, NPC doesn't walk all the way up here and just kill me, so, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hold on. Alright, guys. I'm a survivor. I'm back. No one hurt me. No one touched me. So, I'm a survivor. I'm really, I'm really built like that. Let me just keep going on the hunt for medallions. Right now, it's not looking too good. Only 17 medallions to my names. Bro, I'm running so low on medallions that I'm not even gonna, like, get the power boost from that guy. Like, I actually need all the medallions I could get, so I'm not I'm not even going to talk to little bro. Alright, this is the last medallion chest I think that's in this area. Oh my god, it was loaded. But um, I think, let me look around one more time, but I think the last medallion chest, hopefully, is Lightborn area. So, let me go to the place where the lonely Lightborn is. So, yeah, let me go check. And let's see if that Lightborn actually gives me different dialogue if I'm a Lightborn or not. Because, have you guys ever wondered, like... If Lightborns treat you differently, if you're a Lightborn, you, they'd be like, Oh, you're the same race as me? Yo, what's up, homie? You know what I mean? Alright, let's see. Oh, there is a chest! Yippee! Okay, okay. We're about to see how much medallions we're left with. We just need 45 medallions, and then this is considered a W, so... Okay, so we have 33, and then I can get more medallions after Ethron is killed through, like, a little, like, a uh, run for your life segment, right? And hold on, let's talk to this Lightborn before we leave this place, and let's see if bro treats me any different. Bro has a purple halo, bro. Yo, why you got such a drip? Yo, why is this halo option not an option for me? Like, hello? This would be perfect with my weapon. Um, ah, a pleasure to meet you, Supa. Wait, he doesn't even say my full name. He just says, like, my, um, the start of my title. Ah, a pleasure to meet you, Supa. No, he doesn't have any different dialogue because I'm a Lightborn, so. Bro ain't chill like that, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, okay, guys, it's time to do Etheron, and then afterwards, I need 12 medallions from Etheron, which should be easy to get, so, yippee! Okay, I'm preparing myself for a 30-minute fight with Etheron, so, I'm already getting it out of the way now. Alright, well, it's time to, uh, get this started with, okay? Show yourself, Etheron. Alright, there's Big Bro. Uh, let's try to get this as done as soon as possible because i don't want to be here for 40 minutes to be honest oh he spawned these guys right away okay um i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit these guys so let me see how much hits it takes to actually kill these guys so it's five hits six hits seven hits eight hits nine hits god damn bro bro is still not dead after the ultimate oh my god he just take the entire ultimate nine hits from me and then he finally oh i'm gonna i'm gonna hate myself Bro, I should have just done this with the PvE build, because obviously this weapon is glitched um, against mobs. Bro, uh, I, 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 this is the equivalent of me doing Etheron with a stiletto right now. 
This sucks. Bro, it's taking me- it took me 15 hits to kill that guy. Alright, where I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna just get my job done, okay? Okay, that's the first floor. Bro, this is his fourth time using the ultimate, like... Bro actually wants to kill me so bad. Hello? Okay, that's the second floor. Bro, fifth time ultimate, by the way. Oh, I'm half HP. I could really use a health pack. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I could really use a health pack. Alright, but he's about to be stunned right now. There we go. Brody's stunned. Uh, let me go drop down to him. Bro, I'm so low. How? How? Alright, let me just uh, hit him. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let you guys know how much like stuns this actually takes to kill him. I I'm going to assume like 10 stuns and then maybe bro should die. So hopefully he spawns health pack soon because I'm like half HP. Yeah, I don't have condition runner. Oh my god, two bars. Please spawn health packs. Please. Please, bro. Ethron. Stop using your- stop spamming your ultimate on me, bro! Oh my god, he actually listened. But he spawned me like a cracked, uh... A cracked health pack, bro. Okay, I can't wait to hit this guy. Oh my god, please! Can we please- No, not Bone Wave 2! Not Bone Wave, not Bone Wave! Oh yeah, I'm so dead. It, it's over for me. I love you guys, but it's over for me. And bro, this is ultimate. Oh, oh yeah, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. It's wraps. Hello? Okay. Yeah, it's over. Ahem. <clears throat> At Archmage. My special... Wait, hold on. Me and Valkyrie's this special weapon does base damage against a mob. Please fix. It took me 20 minutes against Chaser at 80 light plus 40 int and... And 15 hits to kill a front of Vex. Love, Supa. <laughs> okay, um, well, this sucks. I'm gonna send him a screenshot too of me and the fragments. Like, let's lock in. Guys, bro, Arch responded. Bro said, cat emoji? Like, hello? Arch, please! Fix the weapon, please, bro. It, it's been two months. It's been two months, bro. <laughs> like, please. All right, anyways, guys. So what I'm going to do instead is, hold on. Let me firstly restore, right? So I'm going to buy this. Would you like to buy a drawn favor? Ah, uh, yes. Click, clickety, click. All right, firstly, here's the plan. Firstly, we're going to go to Etrus, obviously, right? Um, Etrus to get food and also repair my armor. So let me do that real quick. All right, so we're at Etrus. Uh, firstly... Let me go get Calabash, let me get food, right? Now, here's what my good friend Valakis always tells me. Never let a down, never let a setback set you back. You guys know what I mean? Never let a setback set you back. So, we're gonna improve, we're gonna do things differently. Um, I have my friend, Demon Fox. Bro's the GOAT. Bro is actually genuinely goaded. I, I love him so much. Um, he's gonna help me with Layer 2. He's basically just gonna carry me on a PvE build so I can get Dawnwalker. So, and then I'm gonna get Dawnwalker. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna use Shrine to blast me to get to level uh, 19. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna be like training like my stuff while I'm getting carried in uh, layer two. Uh, oh, Calabash, let me get this so I don't run out of food during the fight. So listen, bro, I didn't do all that just to like wipe and not get Dawnwalker. Like I want to see the drip. Like I'm committed to the drip. I'm committed to the build. Okay. Like I'm I'm actually liking this build. So. Let's just keep on going. Uh, I need to sell some stuff so I can actually repair my armor. And then I'm also going to buy um, prayer beads so I can increase my willpower too. So let me do that. All right. Prayer beads. There you go. Let me sell my items uh, to the merchant. So I'm going to sell all of this. That should be enough to repair my armor. So let me do that. All right. Mr. Blacksmith, repair my armor, please. There we go. My armor is repaired. We have seven calabash to our name. Um, I'm gonna go to Lower Resia, so to get there quicker, I'm just gonna take the fountain, go to Hive, and then take the Lower Resia fountain. You Shrine to Blast me, so I'm level 19, so I have enough EXP to get to level 19, right? And then, uh, I'm gonna go down to the depths, get Dawnwalker, because Demon Fox the go, he built different like that. And, bro, bro, you got everybody in your life, bro, if you guys don't have a Demon Fox in your life, what are you doing? Like, you're obviously doing something wrong, because, like... Demon Fox, he's so goaded. I could go on. I could, bro, I could glaze him on for days about Demon Fox, bro. Bro is just so goaded. But, uh, yeah, let's go to Lower Resia. All right, now let's take this portal. Okay, 
we're at, at lower upper Aresia, so now we just have to go to the shrine of blast me shrine real quick so let's do that should be right here we're like a little bit farther down obviously let me just break this bro why why didn't that break let me know chat all right wherever i'm, I'm just gonna go like the actual way all right uh we're here where's the hidden village i think it's i think if i drop down here it should be like right here so all right let's use shoulder bash to break this real quick and let's just keep on going Bro, I'm actually getting pieced up by two mudskippers. Yo, they're getting up on me, please. And I do- Bro, I can't even kill the mudskippers, guys. Dude, 10 damage base, bro. Like, alright. Bro, get away from me. Get away from me, please. Okay, let me just use Shred and Blast me real quick. I agree. Very well, we're level 19 now. We have enough XP to level up. Uh, let's get Overflowing Dam. Finally, I got that. That would have been really useful. Um, let's also get, uh, let's see... Blade Dancer. Uh, time to- Actually, no, we'll get Fast Blade. Uh, let's also get low blow since we're going assassination build. Bro, why am I not getting any assassination talents? Like, hello? Alright, we got lights out. There we go. That's some. Um, what else do we need to get? Um, alright. Swift rebound. Okay. Evasive expert. Finally, we're getting, like, the talents we should have been getting at the start. Let's get weapon scaling increase. There we go. Weapon scaling again. Please, I can use all the weapon skill I can get, even though it's like weapon skilling off of like uh, base damage right now. And then let's just go to a roll pool so uh, we can get carried by Demon Fox the Goat. And also, let me just use my ankle weights on the way there. Alright, we're in the roll pool and let's go down to layer 2. Let me tell Demon Fox to join the server. Alright, uh, let's go down to Castle Light now. We spawned on like the other side of the map, so I need to go like all the way over there. So, oh yeah, nice King Thresher. I am not trying to fight you, please. Now with like 10 damage, base damage, like, hello? Guys, actually, let's see how much hits it takes for me to kill a jellyfish at level 19, right? Like, with a 30 damage weapon, by the way. One, two, three. Okay, three hits, but this is, I'm level 19, so like, my mob scaling is super high, and they have like 250 HP. So it's like, bro, it, it took me two hits, and like, three hits divided by like 250 is like, uh... That's 80 damage and M1, but like, bro, it's like, bro, I, the, 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 bro, my weapon obviously does not like do a lot of damage to mobs. Like, um, if, if this was truly 30 damage, right? Truly 30 damage at level 19, I should be one shotting the jellyfish because bro, I one shot jellyfish with, um, with one, one handed guns, bro, at level 19. And they do like 25 damage. So obviously there's like something wrong here, right? But hold on, let me just keep training my ankle weights while I like go to Castle Light. And Demon Fox is in the server. Bro's a goat. Shout out to Demon Fox 129, bro. Everyone needs him in his life, in your life, bro. But uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Alright, we're at Castle Light. Where's the goat? Where's the goat himself? I think that's the goat himself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Bro, what is that? Is that Obfuscation Rapier? Er, why is he not on a PvE build? Let me know. Okay. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm just gonna cut to when we kill Chaser and kill Ethron, cause like, uh, I'm not gonna make you guys watch all that again, so I'm gonna just be a passenger princess and just like, train my ankle weights while I wait for, uh, Demon Fox the goat to get there, so. Alright, while I'm waiting for Demon Fox, I got my Jody up to 100, so let me train my weapon manual too. Alright, um, Chaser's dead, it didn't take me 40 minutes like last time, um, I'm just gonna cut to when Ethron dies. And I'm at like the, like the run for my life portion, cause bro, I'm so mad I died. Like bro, I do 10 damage base killing, bro. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys then. Then, oh my god, oh my god, Demon Fox is the goat. Oh my god, Demon Fox is the goat. What's even in here? I I, I don't even care what's in here, bro. Demon Fox is the goat. Bro, bro carried me through Ethron and Chaser. It only took 21 minutes for Ethron. I'm so happy, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Um, I have 41 medallions, so I need four more, or I need, um, let me see, I need 19 more for, um, all the moves, but as I said before, I only want, um, Radiant Kick, so I don't really want, like, 19 more medallions. I'm, I'm good with just four more medallions, and then we get Dawnwalker, guys. But, bro, bro, shoot, shout out to Demon Fox, bro. Bro actually just carried me so hard. And bro was what bro was not even on a PvE build. Bro was just on, like, a, a light weapon build, bro. But, uh, yeah, oh my god, thank god for him. Alright, let me just go get the medallions real quick. And then, we, guys, we can get Dawnwalker. So, yeah. 
You guys are about to see the drippiest build of your life. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, let me not die here, actually. Let me just parry all of this. Yep, yep. Yeah, we parry those. Ow. Oh, my God. Stop, stop. Okay, there's a chest right here. So, let me get this real quick. Bro, why am I stuck in the ground? Oh, get away from me. Why are, like, the walls gone? Huh? Alright, there's two chests I see. Um, I'm going to go for... Let's see. I'm going to go for this one first. I'm probably not going to go for that one. Because that one's, like, a little bit too far. To be honest. I'm going to go for the one I saw on the right side. This this side over here. Oh, my God. I just fell. No. Okay. Yo, I'm happy with what I have. I'm not even going to lie. Let me get out of here. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bro, big, big ups to Dean Fox. <sighs> okay. Let's talk to this nice lady. Uh, Chaser betrayed you. And then, yo, give me secrets of radiant magic. And then, what do you have to offer? Enhance my radiant. Bro, we got radiant kick. This is literally all I wanted. So, ah, boom. Guys, wait, huh? I don't have white eyes? Wait, what? Why don't I have white eyes? If, if I, like, rejoin, will I get white eyes then? Let's see. Let me increase my weapon uh, training real quick, guys. So, let's do this. Let's see how much points we actually have to spend. So, let's see. I've learned what I can from training right now. I should put into practice. So, we need 15 more investment points. Oh, wait. I have white eyes now. I just had the server hop. Oh, bro. This looks so drippy. Oh, my God. It looks so good. All right. Um, all right. We're going to wait for Demon Vox. And now, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do... Listen. Listen. Let me cook. We're going to do the advanced steps trial to get to um, level 20. So I'm going to have Demon Fox help me with it so I don't actually wipe. So uh, where's where's my homeboy? Oh, there he is. All right. Let's go, Demon Fox. I'm kind of scared to do this because like my, my weapon does like 10 damage to like um, mobs. But hey, we have Demon Fox on a non-PVE build. So hey, if we wipe, we wipe together, bro. That sounds so sad, actually. Uh, but we'll be fine, probably. We have each other, so. I'm not sure if you have to do it solo or if you could do it with a friend. I'm about to find out for myself right now. Alright, let me talk to the shrine over here. Prove yourself. There we go. And now, let's just go up and let's see what we get. So, yeah, as I said before, I'm not sure if you have to do it uh, by yourself or you could do it with a friend, so. Oh, oh no, we definitely got it. But the Bone Keeper's Bro, we got a corrupted King Thresher, bro. I'm gonna just fight the Bone Keeper then. Hey, man. Get away from her. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. <laughs> you ladies are right. But yeah, let me just kill the Bone Keeper real quick. This is going to take eight minutes, though. Oh, actually, bro, I might need to help Demon Fox because bro is not on a uh, PvE build. And bro's fighting a like, corrupted King Thresher, so this might end terribly. Oh, wait, Demon Fox did it. Yo, Demon Fox is goaded. He's goaded, bro. Oh, my God. I love Demon Fox. Bro, I'm already two bars, goddamn. Oh, there we go. Alright, now there's one more wave. <gasps> no, Squibbo! Please don't make me fight the Squibbo. Demon Fox, no! Don't make me fight the Squibbo, please. Demon Fox. I'm gonna just run. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep the Squibbo off Demon Fox as long as I can, because I can't fight that. I don't have, like, a, a, a guard break critical. Okay, I'm just stalling the, the Squibbo while Demon Fox handles his demons over there. Oh, Demon Fox is done. Now, let, let's gang up on the Squibbo, because we both don't have, like, uh guard break criticals so like this is gonna be have the this is gonna be a team effort i'm not gonna lie oh my god i'm getting i'm getting boxed like a fish bro we both are bro's just too strong bro bro's just actually too strong he said i have bell let me okay go ahead oh my god we did it he said never again <laughs> you're goaded bro <laughs> okay he said birdcage time bro <laughs> bro's addicted to birdcage all right, uh, we should be level 20 now. I think we have investment points, so let's see. All right, so let me spawn my guild base, and let me invest my investment points. Wait, I don't have investment points. Did I get EXP? Bro, if I did get EXP, what was the point of that? Hello? Where's my level up? All right, guys, Um, I have no clue why that didn't work, but let's just go down the depths and, uh, you know, just get the remaining EXP that way. All right, um... I'm just gonna be, bro. Why is it so laggy? Oh my god! All right, I'm I'm just gonna farm in the private server because like there's like three times spawn. So yeah, let me just do that real quick. I'm trying to level up as fast as possible. To be honest with you guys. All right, there's like a ton of XP here, so let me just kill them all, bro. He hello? N no way. W w wow. I am so 
so sad right now. Well, I mean, thank you guys so much for watching. That was the finale. Um, I, I guess the Lightborn Curse is real. Am I right? Like, there's no way that just happened, bro. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next progression. Um, you know, hey, we got the level 19. It looks drippy. See you guys then, and bye-bye, guys.